Welcome to your heart's planet. Peppa Pig and the Muddy Puddles. Mommy Pig and Daddy Pig are tucking Peppa and George into bed. There's so much rain, Peppa says. That means there will be muddy puddles to jump in tomorrow. Mommy Pig says with a smile. The splish splash splash of raindrops on the window sings Peppa and George to sleep. They dream of muddy puddles. It rains, and rains. And rains. The next morning, the sun is shining. Daddy Pig runs out to jump in a muddy puddle, Splash. but he lands in a big pool of water instead. Oh, how did this water get here? Daddy Pig asks. And where are the muddy puddles? Asks Peppa. Quack quack quack. Our house is on an island," says Peppa. "Oh dear," says Mummy Pig. "What will we do?" Granny Pig and Grandpa Pig arrive on their boat. "Ahoy there," Grandpa Pig says. "Wonderful boating weather." "We're going to the store," says Granny Pig. "Can George and I come too?" asks Peppa. Yes, we'll do the shopping for everybody. Squack. Polly can remember our shopping list. She's very good at that. Granny Pig says, "Who's a clever parrot?" Squack. Who's a clever parrot? Says Polly. Polly is very good at repeating what people say. Peppa, George. Grandpa Pig, Granny Pig, and Polly motor across the water. It's fun, but there are no muddy puddles. Each house is on its own island. They go from house to house, asking everyone what they need from the store. Susie Ship asks for chocolate. Squack, chocolate. Polly repeats. Granddad Dog needs a newspaper, and Danny Dog wants a comic book. Squack, newspaper, comic book. Polly repeats. Grampy Rabbit wants cheese. Squack, cheese. Polly repeats. Grandpa Pig's boat arrives at the supermarket. Hello, says Miss Rabbit. What can I get you? Polly knows. Peppa says proudly. Squack. Polly opens her beak. Who's a clever parrot? Who's a clever parrot? She says. Polly has forgotten the list. Don't worry, says Peppa. I remember. So they get what's needed and go back to deliver everything. Cheese. Says Grampy Rabbit, "Thank you." A newspaper and comic book, say Granddad Dog and Danny Dog. Thank you. Chocolate, says Susie Sheep. Thank you. Chocolate for dinner, ask Mummy Sheep. But Peppa is sad. She didn't get what she wanted. There were no muddy puddles at all. The next morning, the sun is shining brightly in the clear blue sky. Polly Parrot comes to visit. Grandpa Pig's boat is stuck on Peppa's front lawn. Oh, Granny Pig says, looking out from the boat, the flood is over. They all look around. The houses that were on islands yesterday are now back to normal, sitting on top of their hills. The water that Peppa and George boated in is gone, and at the bottom of their very own hill, they see. Squatch! Hee <laughs> hee! A great big muddy puddle! Hee <laughs> hee!
Squish, squelch, squelch. Big enough for everyone.